Welcome to the overview of the new live stream user journey. We will be walking through the new steps of setting up your live stream and also introducing our very own streaming solution, Glisser Stream. Glisser Stream is a single streaming solution that enables you to host a video conference or a live broadcast. Let's move to the new interface. Go to your session or event. In this example, we'll stay in sessions. Here, I can select my session, live stream. So if I'm clicking this live stream, I can now select edit session. From here, I can go to live streaming, toggle on the live stream. You'll notice here that this has changed. Now I'm selecting live stream setting. Once clicked, you'll see that a new pop-up is on your screen. You'll also see that you have two options here, video conference and live broadcasts. This is an important step because this reflects the way that we think that you operate. Key differences between the two. Video conference allows the audience to participate in the video with their audio and their camera and is ideal for classroom sizes of up to 40, networking, or breakout sessions. Live broadcast is where the audience is not actively participating in the video stream. You are broadcasting a presenter or a panel of presenters and the audience is a passive viewer. Attendees may still be participating through the Q&A, polling, and Twitter feed, but they cannot switch their cameras, they cannot switch their mics on, and they are not seen on camera. The advantage of a live broadcast is that since the audience is only consuming a live video being played, it's much lighter in the terms of their bandwidth. This means a live broadcast can have tens of thousands, or hundreds of thousands of attendees consuming that video, where a video conference tends to reduce to a much smaller group size before it starts becoming a technical challenge for the host and maintaining a good user experience. Here, as I select the video conference setting, I'm able to select my source. Here are the current providers that we integrate with, BlueJeans, Jitsi, and Zoom, You'll also see the soon to be released Glisser Stream. If I select Live Broadcast, you'll see a range of options, and you'll also see the soon to be released Glisser Stream. Another thing you will notice is that we have moved Master View within this pop up box. This used to be available within Personalization. Master view is where you determine whether the video or the slides are shown in the largest screen. We felt that this setting is better placed here because this is when you're likely thinking about how you want your session running. As you're setting up your stream, a few things you need to decide. Do you want the audience video and audio to be turned on? Or do you want your audience to be passive viewers? From here, do I want my video to take priority and be shown in the largest section for the audience to view? Or do I want my slides to take priority and be in the largest screen for the audience to view? Generally, if you're doing a video conference and everyone is involved, your video should take priority because of the number of attendee faces on screen and you want that to take the master view or the largest space. If you're doing a live broadcast, it may be the opposite. It may be that the person speaking is just a single individual and they can be in the top right hand corner and the slides can take priority and be shown in the master view. For this example, We'll have a YouTube as our source, and we will have the video as our master view, and we'll select save as normal.